So having large boobs means that I have to take out a loan just to purchase a bra? Make it make sense. Hi, it's Cece and welcome to my channel. Um, I had to take a little time off because my body and my mind were not on the same wavelength and I kind of hurt my hip and found out I had sciatica. I, I had zero understanding of that at the time, but it is what it is and I had to go ahead and let my hip heal before I could start working out again. And now that I'm back, wanted to just go ahead and get into the video that as promised for the sports bras um if you have not already make sure that you click the like button and subscribe um i wanted to look over more than the two examples that i have but i also wanted to make sure that these bras were affordable and you know the larger you get the more expensive they are and the two bras that I wanted to look at, they were comfortable for me and they worked well for me. And this is, I'm not being sponsored by anyone. This is just my own personal opinion. So let's go ahead and look at the two bras that I have that for me, they're functional, they're comfortable. And, um, you know, I don't have to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure them out. And you'll see what I mean in just a few minutes. I started out by taking my measurements. It's very important when you're, especially getting a new bra or you've either gained or lost weight to take your measurements to ensure the best fit. I came out to 44 inches. Um, I usually wear a triple D bra, although depending on the manufacturer, it could be also an F. So the first one we're gonna be looking at is She Fit. As you can tell, it comes in this really cute bag. This is Wake Up, Kick Ass, Repeat. And this one is in 3 Lux, which, according to their website, should um, fit up to 48 inches. So here is the She Fit bra that I have in white. And it has these Velcro straps. And when you first get it, they do come crisscross. But I can tell you one thing, I got so tangled up in that bra in the beginning. And of course it has Velcro across the back. And one of the issues that I was having with this Velcro is um, when I'm working out, if I have to go somewhere and change really quickly, I had a problem adjusting the straps. I had to take it off several times just to adjust the straps. And in the front, it does zip in the front. And it has this really cool looking cover to hide the zipper at the very top, which I found to be adorable. That way, you know, it kind of just hides it from everything. And, um, I don't know, for me, this bra, I, I like the way it felt, but Overall, it was just a little bulky, if that makes any sense. So this is the Le Mystere High Impact Bra. This one I liked a lot. It's a traditional bra that clips in, clips in the back. And this one is a 38 triple D. And of course, you know, it has the regular adjustable straps like a normal bra. Now for me, functionality is key. With I'm at work and I have to go to the gym or I have to go to a class and I need to change clothes relatively quickly, I need functionality. And for me, the Le Mystere High Impact Bra, it works so much better for me. Now, does it, does it keep me, you know, from moving as much as the other one? No, it does not. In fact, as you can see, it's it's not as, you know, as bad as if you were just trying to wear a regular sports bra. 
But for functionality, this one works better. I've never really been a person that likes bras that hook or zip in the front, you know, due to the fact, you know, cup sizes vary and where you think you are wearing one size and you get it and you go to zip it up or you go to put, you know, to um, hook it, the cups don't work. You know, girls don't fit. And that doesn't work for me. And that's what I found with the She Fit. Number one, it just took way too long for me to try to, to get it to my size. And whereas I did get a three lux, which should should have worked up to uh, 48 inches. And when I measured myself, I was 44 inches around with a, a bra on that was, and when I put on, I was like at the end with the Velcro, I was at the very end and that was a three lux and it was supposed to fit. And then um, I did try it once when I went to a kickboxing class. And for me, that quick change, I couldn't do it. The Velcro trying to, and I did tr do it at home. I did pre-fit it, or at least I thought I did um, at home. And when I went to the gym uh, to go work out, I had to go in the bathroom really quick. I was changing clothes and it was like taking the Velcro loose, which it was the back Velcro. So I couldn't get it. I had to take it off like three or four times to get the Velcro where I needed it to be tight enough. And that was at the very end. So, you know, when you have to do those quick changes, to me, it was not very functional. Now, as far as high impact, did it keep, keep me from bouncing as much? It did. I will give it that. It really did. But for me personally, the functionality was much, much better for the limb steer. I love this bra. In fact, I have two or three of them. I can't say enough about this bra. I, I love it. But, you know, it's up to you. You know, you can try them out. Um, see which one works better for you. Um, I've heard great things about SheFit. And I will still use it from time to time. But, you know, if I'm going to be in a gym situation, I most definitely will be taking this one with me. So, you know, if if you're looking for something that's functional and affordable, because this one runs about, about $60, which isn't that bad. You know, it's about the, the same price as a regular bra. And you're looking for functionality, for me, this one, this one does it. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any other ideas for um, sports bras for larger breast individuals, please let me know. Um, I did look at a couple more, but they were like over a hundred dollars. And just from looking at them, I could tell they were not going to work. Not, not for heavy boots. You just, if you can't hold them down to keep them from bouncing up and down, what's the point, right? So leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.